the world's largest lacrosse website. I lacrosse television. Leaders in lacrosse video. Everybody to our lacrosse kickoff luncheon. Uh, the season's already underway. For some, for some others, uh, it'll be rolling this weekend, but we're glad to have our four Division One coaches with us today. I'd like to introduce them right now. Uh, we'll hear from them a little bit, and then we'll open it up. Mark Dixon's here. He's roaming the crowd. We'll give you guys a chance to ask some questions as well. We start with Hopkins head coach Dave Petromala. From Loyola, Charlie Toomey. These guys play each other this week. We gotta be careful. From Towson, Tony Seaman. And the head coach of the UMBC Retrievers, Don Zimmerman. Guys, we'll go, we'll go down the list. And, and first, if you could, just kind of an overview as you come into the season. Dave, I know you guys open up Friday night at home at 6 o'clock, but uh, give us some thoughts as you, as you get ready to face it off. Well, obviously, more able. Just we kept on the half graduated. Missing. Uh, you know, so it's going to be a new group. It's an exciting challenge for us. Uh, we're going to have to face things as, as a team, as a group, rather than Know, some of the ways we're able to do it in the past where we could rely on two, three, or four guys to get the job done. Uh, we're going to need more people to be involved in the heavy lifting this season. But it's exciting. Uh, you return uh, the majority of our defense, including our, our, our goalie, Michael Boston, who comes off of a, a great final four weekend. Uh, you know, we return Chris Bowling to our attack and Steve Boyle. So, you know, it, it's an exciting challenge to face. We're looking forward to it. Obviously, uh, Friday night at CN, it's, uh, we're starting a new, a new tradition and a new rivalry, and uh, we're just looking forward to playing and finally getting off the practice field and seeing another jersey. Charlie, uh, we uh, a plug for our ESPN UABC2 package, uh, Loyola and Towson. One o'clock, guys, one o'clock, right? Yep. This Saturday, that's our opener, the first of our 11 broadcasts. If you see the screen up there, um, those are our broadcasts this year. We've got another great schedule of college lacrosse for you. But uh, Char Charlie's got one under his belt. Uh, to talk a little about uh, a tough, close loss to a good Notre Dame team uh, before we crowd down in Atlanta, right? It's not a lot of fun being the uh, only guy up here that's 0-1. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we had a, uh, a good run with Notre Dame last weekend. Um, it was good to uh, go down and lay into Atlanta and play in front of 7,000 people. Um, it was a game that was... Were a lot of those people Irish? A lot of Irish. I mean, yeah, absolutely. A lot of green, though, too, so yeah. they could have been really good. Um, it was, a, it was, it's just good to get out early and to, you know, play a, a meaningful game with whistles, and I, and I hope that we can kind of rely on that this weekend, um, that we played a, you know, a fast-paced game. Um, certainly, uh, we're playing without Shane Coppins, who's our offensive leader for the first two games, and uh, we learned a little bit about ourselves last weekend, playing with, uh, you know, some, some new faces. Uh, certainly Matt Lang is stepping into his role. I think uh, having a game under his belt, it, it'll certainly help him. Uh, but new faces really for us are in the midfield. Um, Jimmy Daly, local product, um, stepping in, and then along with some guys, by the name of uh, Hurst and Baszler, uh, that, are, that are now starting to get some real minutes for Loyola. Um, you know, we're hoping that we can grow up pretty quickly between the lines. Uh, certainly welcome back Eddie Graham defensively, who was a captain for us, uh, who tore his ACL last year. Uh, so between two uh, fifth-year guys, and Eddie and Shane, I think that, that we're going to rely on their leadership, along with P.T. Grichi, who's got a preseason first-team All-American as a pole, uh, who just plays the game with passion. He's a fun, fun guy to watch play. Um, along with Jimmy Daly, our local product. And then in the goal, we feel like we're pretty strong. Uh, Jay Catlin was terrific against Notre Dame. And uh, Alex Petey is back for his uh, for his fourth year after a bit of short year. So, um, you know, I, I like our team. I think we're scrappy. Uh, I don't think that we're the team that we're going to be in two or three weeks as we uh, become season tested. But um, I, I do like what I saw down with, uh, with our team. Tony Seaman from Towson. Tony, a, a good way to start the season for, for local fans. And I guess for, for your players, uh, nice rivalry facing Loyola in the opener on TV. I couldn't think of anybody I would rather start against. Uh, maybe in about the middle of March, 
Yeah, it's a great rivalry, and uh, Charlie does such a great job with his kids. And, uh, you know, they're very strong, and they had a great game last Saturday. And it, as he said, it's always great to get that first one under your belt. And uh, that's going to be the difference that we haven't been there yet. Um, we really don't understand that intensity and, and what goes into that until you're actually out there. So that's going to be a big uh, problem that we had probably through that first half. And, uh, you know, they handed it to us pretty good last year. And uh, they also had that advantage, so that, that's something that we're worried about a great deal. Where's the strength of your team as you should get ready to I start think, the season? I think our biggest besides coaching returning is <laughs> thank you. Uh, I think it's our our biggest strength is at the defensive end, uh, but we have to plug in the goalie, and, and that's really important for us. So. Uh, I believe Rob Wheeler has won that job through the fall and uh, now into the spring, so he'll be in the goal for us. He's a transfer from Maryland and uh, played at Friends uh, School here in, in Baltimore. So the one great thing he has is an advantage in high school. He probably saw 150, 200 shots a game, so he certainly knows what it's like to have a rubber thrown at him. But, uh, so he's going to, you know, we hope that he can be consistent. That's something that we didn't get a lot of last year. We got a couple of uh, young kids at the attack in the uh, midfield that are going to play for us locally. Uh, Sean McGuire from Coward Hall and Matt Lehman from St. Mary's and um, Steve Norris from Lennox Town and then uh, Michael Brashears from Coward Hall. So we need those kids to grow up real quickly. And you look at our schedule, you better grow up. And, and you don't have to worry about face-offs, right? You're, you're strong there. You return one of the best. Yeah, until I watched uh, the Notre Dame uh, Loyola game on Saturday, and so Loyola went about 75% of the face -offs. 16 of 22, I think. Yeah, and then you have, you know, number one coming in from the wings. He picks up a lot of ground balls, so uh, that also presents a lot of problems to you. And you don't have to win a lot of face-offs to win. How about the guy sitting to my left here, you know, and he destroys Delaware last weekend. And, didn't win very many face-offs, so it's putting the ball in the goal. Yeah. Don, uh, talk about your, your win, the nice way to get started. Well, um, I was pleased with the way the team played. We were, we were focused all week, and I had a terrific week of practice. After a little bit of a sluggish start in the preseason, but um, went out and, and really hustled and scrapped, and those are the things you want to see out of a ball club. Uh, early on in the season, we played as a team, and um, you know, again, I think it boils down to attitude, and, and our kids have really had a good attitude all year, and, and hopefully that will continue throughout the season. Strength, strength of the team, uh, where you bring back the most? Well, we returned uh, nine starters. We lost Terry Kimmerer, our um, All-American Mini, and we lost Taylor. Marino, our face-off specialist, but I think the strength of our team has to start in the goal with Jeremy Blevins. Um, he's been a starter ever since he stepped on campus and um, just a real competitor and seems to get stronger as the game goes on. Uh, has a veteran defense playing in front of him, although we lost Bobby Atwell, our number one stopper uh, to an ACL preseason. But we've had some kids step up, uh, Steve Sanabrino and, and uh, Brian Schneider, who have kind of wait, waited in the wings, and, and now they had their opportunity. And on offense, we have our entire starting attack back. Uh, Ryan Smith's coming off an ACL, and isn't, isn't where he will be, um, but you know that's expected. But um, and, and two pretty solid middies midfield unit. So, um, you know, again, the key is uh, I think our kids have a good attitude and, and they're working hard and, and, and that's where it all starts. What do you have this week? We have Rutgers at home. Rutgers at home, okay. That's Saturday afternoon? Right, on the clock. Give, give, give fans a chance to, to see some great lacrosse this, this weekend. Mark, you, you want in here? Or, uh, you, got, you got a question for any of the coaches? I do. Mark Dixon, who, uh, let me introduce Mark, uh, he'll be doing games with us again this year, as well as Quinn Kestnick. Former Hopkins great and sometimes a great official. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Uh, anybody again has a question, come up front, drop it off, read your name off, you can come up front as well and, and get some prizes. I think it's just some great games. But uh, Coach Seaman was joking about it, you're walking in here, snow on the ground, and you guys are playing lacrosse. First question, why do we have games in February instead of more games in April or May? <laughs> That's a great question. I'm all for that. Um, I think uh, one thing that we will always talk about in our program is, is I know some coaches like to play Wednesday, Saturday games. 
I like a week to prepare. Um, and I think that, especially when you play conference games in the ECAC, having a full week to prepare for a team um, is really an advantage. Um, you see, obviously, in football, it's a physical game. Um, and so, you know, the, the, the injuries, um, the rehab, that's part of it. But I, I must admit, uh, playing uh, Maryland on January 31st uh, down at College Park in a scrimmage was not a lot of fun. Um, and you're right, it does lead to some sloppy play uh, early in the year.